The ghost heads hover silently in the air. Your legs are attacked by luminous scolopendras, and a mummy from Egypt relaxes imposingly on a lounge chair under an umbrella. Welcome to the Feast of Evil Spirits! Halloween is already knocking at the door. It's time to decorate everything around with some scary decor. A plastic mask and a balloon. Very soon, they will become a cause for screams of horror. Use masking tape and fasten the mask on the balloon. Install the balloon on the jar. Cover with a piece of gauze. Dilute a small amount of gypsum powder in water. Add it to Elmer's glue. Stir. Lubricate the mask with this glue gypsum mix. Cover with another piece of gauze. Apply another layer of the mixture. Repeat the same steps several times. Suspend ghost heads on the ceiling. Brrr! So here you are, the poltergeist! And if you hang a head on a stick and lurk in a secluded place, you can frighten a friend who's not paying attention. For the next life hack, you need a sweater that no one else wears. Cut the sleeve diagonally. Fill it tightly with cotton wool. Smear the edge of the fabric with the filler with the scarlet paint, creating the effect of a bloody hand. Fill a latex glove with cotton wool. Using the concealer palette, give it the appearance of a human hand. Imitate the design of nails and folds. Fasten the glove to the sleeve with hot glue. Paint a rectangular piece of cardboard black and write a welcome inscription on it. Use a hot glue gun and fasten it to a plastic pipe. Hand over the welcome sign to the hospitable bloody hand. Attach it with hot glue. It remains to stick the sign in the ground and wait for the guest's arrival. A hand chopped off with an ax will scare them to death. Prepare four hot glue rods for the next life hack. Use a paper knife to cut the rods into parts of different lengths. Assemble a skeleton arm out of them. Glue the parts with a hot glue gun at an angle. Glue the bones together. Draw phalanges using hot glue. Cover with white spray paint. Skeleton hands hanging on the interior door. This decoration is not for the weak. Next, you need a basic black t-shirt. Draw the bones of the spine and ribs with a piece of soap. Cut them out. Stretch the holes a little. Put on the t-shirt with cutouts on top of a plain white t-shirt. A few minutes and the Halloween costume is ready. Your grandmother would say that you are very thin. Only skin and bones. You look like a skeleton. For the most terrible Halloween hairstyle, you need fluffy decorative wire, studs, and black pom-poms. Bend the wire in the form of a spider foot and fasten a stud on the end. Attach the studs on the remaining pieces of wire. You will need eight black legs. Glue the pom-poms together with a hot glue gun. Attach the eyes and fasten the stud. Twist a bun from your hair and decorate it with spider legs. Insert the pom-poms with eyes in your hair. If you shake your head, the spider funnily twitches its legs. Are you ready to fight arachnophobia? Just look how cute its eyes are! For this life hack, you need a cardboard plate and a party hat. Paint them black. With the help of a hot glue gun, assemble the pointed hat of a witch. Bend a bundle of fluffy wire and fasten it to a wooden stick. Tie the broom with a black thread. Stuff striped pants with filler. Insert them in the shoes. Inflate black gloves and prepare a gloomy witch cloak. Lay all the parts on the table. Fasten your witch at the entrance. Someone clearly confused the speed on the broom's control panel and accidentally hit the door. The witch looks very funny. And now is the time for incredible makeup. Paint the nasolobial triangle with an orange-red paint. And then you need a little zipper. 
Fasten an open zipper over the triangle with body glue. Paint the fabric with a concealer to even the skin color. Paint the edge with black paint. Highlight the cheekbones with a brush. Fill the remaining space with paint. Add yellowish highlights. Paint black vascular nets. Cover the lips with red glitter. Put on a wreath of red flowers and dress in a suitable cape. An incredible look for the holiday is ready. A zipper tearing your face apart looks so spectacular. And for this idea of decor, you need a reliable partner and a whole roll of food film. Starting with the feet, wrap the film around your friend. Done! Do the same with wide masking tape. The scotch rows should overlap each other so that there is no free space between them. The most difficult stage is over. Now the mummy needs to be carefully cut with scissors. Remove the limbs one by one. Make a vertical incision along the back and free your friend from the masking tape trap. To make the head of the mummy, you will need a jacket with a hood. Apply a layer of film. Wrap it with tape. Cut it and done! Using wide masking tape, glue the places of the cuts. Put the mummy parts together. Wind a gauze bandage over the scotch tape. Put the mummy on a chase lounge and treat it with a glass of bloody tomato juice. The reaction of your friends will not take long to manifest itself. Well, not every day you meet guests from the gloomy crypt. For greater effect, the mummy can be hung in the house and decorated with luminous garlands. Here's how to play a friend on Halloween with the help of old nylon pantyhose. Cut off a part of the black stocking. Fill it with cotton. Tighten it with a cord in several places, retreating an equal distance. Cut out numerous paws from black fomeran. Use the hot glue gun to attach the legs to the body. It turns out to be a black multi-lap scolopendra. But that's not all. Glue the pattern made from paper glowing in the dark. Fasten the eyes and decorate the paws with luminous triangles. Mask the toy car with black fomeran. Fasten the centipede to the toy car with hot glue. It's terrible to imagine what will happen to you when in pitch darkness this terrible insect runs in your direction. Even Stephen King did not dream of this. And now, draw the silhouettes of crooked hands on a piece of cardboard. Outline the contour using the marker. Paint it over with black gouache. Cut it out. Now you need wide masking tape. Stretch the tape between the window frames with its adhesive side out. Attach the arms in a chaotic manner. Black silhouettes look scary. The decor with the deadly hands will tickle the nerves of anyone who will casually glance through your window tonight. Zombies are coming! For this Halloween life hack, you need cardboard in a wooden frame. Draw a sinister face with a felt tip pen. Drill holes along the contour. Cover with black gouache. Take a LED Christmas garland. Insert the bulbs into the holes from the backside of the frame. Turn the garland on. The smile in the picture glows with light and it seems that the ghost of the Cheshire Cat has moved into it. So creepy! Here's an idea of thematic decoration of glass goblets. Using a hot glue gun, create a pattern from hot glue on the glasses. Color the glue with red acrylic paints. Generously sprinkle sequins on top. Shake off the excess. Bloody glasses for a terribly fun party are ready. Let's raise a glass of mineral water for the most scary and terrible Halloween. Next, you need a paper template of a bat and a piece of fomeran. Cut out the bat from the template. Fasten it to a glowing self-adhesive film. Cut out the winged silhouette. Fasten the bat on the line and glue it to the ceiling with masking tape. Winged figures rotate around their axis. 
turning either phosphor or black. Bats appear out of nowhere and immediately disappear into the darkness. Just amazing! And for these two pumpkins, we have prepared a special roll. Cut off the bottom of a small pumpkin and carefully cut out the middle with a spoon to form a cavity inside. Mark two eyes with a marker. Carefully make the slots with a knife. Paint both pumpkins with spray paint. Glue black ears and a tail. Have you already guessed whom our pumpkin will look like? Put a safe candle inside the head and fasten it to the cat's body. Kitties with burning eyes look so ominous. Brrrr, or candy. A dropper with blood is what is needed to quench the thirst of true vampires. It's so easy to take the bandage off and enjoy tomato juice from the system. But it's precisely the action that will frighten others to death. Don't worry, it's ordinary tomato juice. Our blood tastes like ripe tomatoes. Will you try? Did you like our ideas for All Saints Day? Write in the comments how do you decorate your house for Halloween. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to find even more super life hacks and decor ideas from Troom Troom Select.